Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the extreme values of the joint CDF function of two random variables x comma y. That is the joint CDF f x comma y of x comma y is equal to by definition the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to small value small x and the random variable y is less than or equal to small y. So this is the definition of joint CDF. So now we want to look at the extreme values or different extreme values of this joint CDF function. The first one we want to look into is f x comma y of x comma minus infinity. That is y equal to minus infinity. So in this case what is the value of this CDF function? We can clearly see that by definition it should be equal to probability that x is less than or equal to small x and y is less than or equal to minus infinity which basically means that y cannot take any values on the real plane, I mean on the real line. That means we are basically talking about an empty set. That is this event that is x less than or equal to x, but y values should always be less than or equal to minus infinity basically means that this is an empty set. So the probability of this empty set is zero. Therefore, the extreme value of the CDF function at x comma minus infinity is zero. Now we want to look into the other extreme that is basically the CDF value at x comma plus infinity. So this is equal to probability that x is less than or equal to small x and y is less than or equal to plus infinity. So this probability definition, this uh, de this definition basically says that the value of y can be anything between minus infinity and plus infinity. That means we are basically talking about the sample space of y. So in other words, this event is basically same as probability that x is less than or equal to small x. And the value of y does not really matter because it can take any value on the real line. Therefore, this is equal to the, uh, the marginal CDF that is fx comma fx of small x. Therefore, uh, the extreme value fx comma y of x comma infinity is equal to fx of x that is marginal CDF of x. Next value we want to look into is the CDF at minus infinity comma plus infinity that is the probability that x is less than or equal to minus infinity and y is less than or equal to plus infinity. In this case also we are basically saying that x cannot really take any value on the real line corresponding to x. That is basically this is an empty set that is probability of 5 which is an empty set this is equal to 0 therefore this value is 0 fx comma y of minus infinity comma plus infinity is 0. Next one is fx comma y of minus infinity comma y. That is y can take any value less than small y but x should always be equal to minus infinity. That is probability that x is less than or equal to minus infinity and y is less than or equal to small y and again this is also an empty set so the probability should be equal to 0. And finally, we want to look at fx comma y of infinity comma y. That is, this is equal to probability that x is less than or equal to plus infinity and y is less than or equal to small y. So we are basically dealing with the uh, sample space of x. That is, x can take any value on the real line of corresponding to x. That is, this is equivalent to the probability that y is less than or equal to y. That is, we don't only have to worry about y and do not worry how to worry about x. So this is equal to marginal CDF of y. Therefore, this extreme value f x comma y of infinity comma y is equal to the marginal CDF of y. So in summary, the, uh, the extreme values of this uh, joint CDF basically depends on the uh, value of the sign of this the sign of this value that is sign of this infinity that is whether it is plus infinity or minus infinity. For minus infinity, the CDF value, the extreme case, the extreme value of the CDF at any minus infinity, whether x or y, is always zero. And when one of them is positive to infinity and other one is a finite quantity, then we basically arrive at the marginal CDFs as here and the, and the property, I mean the value b and e. In all other cases, when one of the values is minus infinity, you are basically dealing with empty sets. That is the probability zero. Thanks for watching.